Hey guys, this is Dr. Eric Otero, and today we're going to go over how to do self myofascial release using lacrosse ball to help deal with lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow. So first off, we're going to have our elbows slightly bent to put the tissue at slack, right? And we're really going to focus on the meaty portion of the upper forearm right through here, where my fingers pointed, because that's normally the tissue or the area where we normally have most of our painful areas with tennis elbow, okay? Primarily our wrist extensors, right? This is where they originate from. We're gonna take a cross ball, we're gonna put firm pressure right where that meaty area is, and we're gonna come into a, a circular kind of pattern until we find painful areas or trigger points that might be a little more sensitive than the other areas. Once we find that area, we're gonna keep that moderate pressure, and we're gonna to come to a little bit of small, more isolated circles, and do it for a couple seconds, 15, 20 seconds, before we go back into finding other painful spots that you may have around the area, okay? Now from here, once we kind of work that tissue out for a couple, about two, three minutes, we're going to extend the elbow to put a little bit more tension onto the tissue right through here, okay? A lot of times when people extend the elbow, grip, and then reach out, that's when they have most of the pain. So we're gonna try to alleviate tension with the elbow extended. That's a progression, okay? Same concept applies. From here, put moderate pressure. Find those spots that you may have some discomfort with. Okay, once you get a good spot, spin about 15, 30 seconds. Small, isolated pressure and kind of work that area out, okay? Now, for the last progression, we're gonna make a little more dynamic with the wrist specifically. Start with elbows extended right through here and come with that moderate pressure into that area we have been focusing on right through here. And now you're going to actively move into wrist flexion and wrist extension, okay? As I flex the wrist, I actually wanna come down. And then as I extend the wrist, I'm actually gonna push up with the ball. I'm kind of like flossing the tissue at the same time. I'm kind of releasing the tissue at the same time with the lacrosse ball, okay? So you, you wanna be a little more slow with your movements, okay? And once again, spend a couple minutes down through here and this will really feel good, but you want to start with the other regressions first for you, before you come with through here because it might be too aggressive to start with, okay? Try it out and let me know what you guys think.